all of my Lux Travelers. It's Kia here again with Love It To Travel. Welcome, welcome, welcome back for another video on all things travel, all things Lux. So if you want to continue to get all of my great content on travel, Lux Travel, and travel tips, please make sure to subscribe. Send your friends over here, send your good girlfriend over here, send your co-workers over here, send your family, your cousin, your mama, them, all of them over here. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll know when I come on here and give you all the good details. Guys, I'm so sad. I am doing this video. Um, there was supposed to be a video again last week, but... I don't know what happened, but I guess this is what you get when you start um, YouTubing, blogging, whatever. You go through ups and downs of losing content, and I just was like too through, too over it. I was not going to re-record a video and do it over again. Not only am I this traveler, blogger, whatever, I am a mom, I work full time, and I was just like, uh-uh, I ain't doing it over again, so we'll just do it again next week, and we'll just include two things in one video. So last week I talked, um, in my last video, I talked about Treasure Island, um, which is right outside of Tampa Beach, Florida. Um, right outside of Tampa is a place called Treasure Island. And I went there for my daughter's um, 14th birthday. She wanted to go to Bush Gardens, which is right in Tampa, which is a theme park. If you don't know about um, this theme park, it has all kind of crazy roller coasters and she decided that she wanted to go to Busch Gardens for her 14th birthday. I don't know why because she didn't get on half of the rides there in Busch Gardens. She just wanted to spend my money, of course. So <laughs> we went to Busch Gardens. But I didn't want to go to just a regular, uh, regular Degler hotel. Um, before I got into being a travel advisor, I never really stayed at the chain hotels. Um, I never really stayed at the Marriott's, the Hilton's, uh, IHG, all of those little hotels that have the, um, what I call box chain hotels. I never stayed at those. I always wanted to stay at the hotels that you've never really heard about so I can experience something different than what um, just everybody would normally experience. So when I did my travel travels, it would always be either at an Airbnb or it would be at some resort that um, you just wouldn't normally know, know about that's not owned by a Marriott, a Hilton, or someplace like that. So we stayed at the Treasure Island Beach um, Resort. And long story short, because I really want to go into um, my other, my original video for this week. I really want to get into information about that. Um, that video or this stay that I want to talk about this week but long story short we stayed at Treasure Island Beach Resort and it was not a very good stay um it is it was a two-bedroom um suite on the um golf front um when you stay on the west side of Florida if you're traveling here when you stay on the west side of Florida you stay on what is the golf side which is the water is more murky it's more cloudy it's not more so like what you would stay. I would stay on the east side of Florida. So the water is more clear. It's more blue. It's more pretty. Um, so when you stay on that side of Florida, when you come and visit, you're staying on the clear blue, crystal blue. It's what you see on all the pictures. So just keep in mind of that when, you, when you're making reservations. Um, when you're staying on the west side of Florida, um, the water is not as clear. Most people stay over on that side to do more fishing and things like that. And... It's not so much for the aesthetic of the beach. Um, even though the beaches are okay, but it's not as pretty as we would get on the east side. So we stayed at, we had a Gulf Front um, View Hotel, View Room, two bedroom suite. Uh, I would say the overall um, outlook of the hotel, the aesthetic, the, the, the eye catching when you first walk up, it was alright. Alright. Um, however, it was some things that should have stood out to me right away when I first went to check in. It took forever for the person to actually even come to the desk to check us in. Um, when we went into the room, and I'm just shooting out some stuff because I really want to get into the review. Because I want to do some positive reviews, y'all. <sighs> I want to do some positive stuff. I don't want to talk about the negative stuff no more. Yeah. 
So <laughs> this uh, resort, again, Treasure Island Beach Resort, it was, yeah, let's just say this. I ain't gonna go back to no more. I ain't gonna go back. This was in the, the height of COVID and it was just me trying to travel, try to get out and do my due diligence to, um, like, saw the room down and do all of that. And I came into a very dirty room. Um, the trash was still in the room from the last, um, person who stayed there and I'm talking about a full fuel full garbage can yeah um there was a dirty towel still hanging up in the bathroom yeah so just know I ain't gonna never go back there no more mm -mm. no no yeah so let me get into the good stuff about the new the other place that i went to so yeah that was treasure island beach resort won't ever 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 go back there treasure island in and of itself the place is a very bustling busy place to be um it is what from what i understand just talking to the people around um that area it's like spring break when you, you go on spring break that is where the place to be uh, is for spring break for anyone in college um that's the place to be to hang out to go to the beach whatever whatever but yeah i ain't going back there i'm i'm good on treasure island real good I ain't never going back however i want to talk to you about my experience uh, on my spring break uh, I went on spring break and I decided to do a self-care spring break and I went to Port de Hiver uh, in Melbourne Beach, Florida. Insert some. Yay! <laughs> uh, it was a vacation, my first vacation that I took, um, my solo vacation, my first ever solo vacation by myself. Uh, I didn't want to go too far because it was my first um, vacation by myself so I wanted to be close enough to where if I needed somebody if I needed call phone a friend uh, I was close to family and I was close to where somebody can come get me uh, so I wanted to do my first solo travel trip um, somewhere close where I could be reachable but I went to this bed and breakfast in Melbourne Beach Florida and it was absolutely amazing uh, when I tell you it was the one of my top experiences ever in life. So if you have never done a solo trip, you got to do it. You got to do it. And I was so afraid because I'm used to either, tra either traveling with um, my kids or traveling with my husband or traveling as a family. But it was so uh needed uh, at that time i really needed to just i talked to my husband about it and i said i just need to get away i just need to take some time for myself and just get away and it was much needed and it was extremely rejuvenating so i um drove down to melbourne melbourne is about an hour and a half almost two hours from where i live and i drove to melbourne I got there on a Friday afternoon and I checked into this bed and breakfast. And this is my first time ever staying in a bed and breakfast, which I had mixed feelings about it. Just thinking about the fact that you would be staying, which all hotel rooms are like a bedroom, but just thinking about the fact that you were staying in a, like a house situation and people will be staying right next to you. It kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies a little bit at first when I thought about it because I'm like, oh, Kind of like I'm staying in a house with strangers. Like, I don't know these people. And, you know, at night I know that the owners of the house will be leaving. So, at first I was like, oh my gosh, this is really me stepping out of my comfort zone. And um, before I went, like, some of my coworkers were telling me about... I, am I, I'm, if I'm saying the name wrong, I'm possibly saying the wrong name wrong. Like... Out of the country, they have these places where a whole bunch of people stay in these um, houses together. And it's like a really, really bad experience. I want to say it's a brothel, but I may be saying that wrong. And they stay in a house together. And it's a really bad experience. And it turns out um, horrible. So they gave me all of the this feedback on it. And I was like, mm, mm And I was really afraid. But it, it was not that experience at all all at all at all at all so when i arrived um i met the owner when i first came in and they um they check you in you check you're kind of checked in like on an ipad situation so they check you in 
and you're a me they <laughs> and what got me is I was like I was kind of you know kind of set back because I was like oh am should I allow because it was like a lady and she you know took my bags up to my room and I was like I can carry my own bags like I don't know it was kind of weird because I didn't want another lady to be carrying my bags upstairs and I was like I could carry my own bags like you know, I'm used to my husband carrying my bags or either Bellman carrying my bags. I don't know. That was kind of weird. But anyways, um, so she carried my bags upstairs and because my room was on the second floor. Uh, and again, it was just like a house. Like my my bedroom was right next to someone else's bedroom. So um, she carried my bed, my bags upstairs. She laid, laid the bags out and um, everything was like laid out for me in the room they had the cookies um there was wine in the room it was laid out the bed it was had a jacuzzi tub it was it was amazing um my patio was um facing the beach of course i told y'all i'm a beach girl i like to hit a water so it was a double door patio facing the beach however i did share my um my balcony with the other with the the bedroom that was right next to me which i never mind i did not mind which i thought i would because it seemed i always thought like okay i'm gonna be out on um my balcony when the people right next to me are gonna be out because it wasn't separated by anything like it we were right next to each other so i was like oh that's gonna be kind of weird like if i'm out there they're out there like i want to be by myself i don't want to be hanging with people i want to be talking to people i ain't no mm. you know what i'm saying so but it never was like that. Like, I respected their time. They respected my time. Like, it was a husband and wife right next to me. So, if they were out there, like, I didn't go out there. And I didn't mind. It was... And then it was like a wraparound porch situation. So, even if they were out there and I wanted to sit out there, I could have went around on the side where they didn't see me. And I sat out there and had my coffee or whatever. It was... It... it, it I, I, Words cannot explain <laughs> the magnitude of how awesome this trip was. So, um, and day by day, I stayed there for like three days. So every day, I literally was a beach bum. I stayed at the beach all day long. My husband hates going to the beach. He literally hate sitting out in the sun he's like i work in the sun all day i work in the sun every day i don't want to go to the what please that's why we live down here i sat at the beach all day and i read books i literally laid out in the sun i was like five shades darker when i came home because i literally just sat in the sun read books let <sighs> y'all it was so good and then at night they did this turn down service. Girl, it scared the mess out of me. <laughs> it scared the mess out of me because, every, like, when I came down from, came back from the beach, like, it was literally nighttime because I would get up in the morning. Okay, so oh, here, here's the other kicker. Oh, let me tell y'all about this. So, you have breakfast every morning in the in the the bed and breakfast. They breakfast. What are they doing now, Chef Kiss? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! The breakfast was amazing. So you had the option to either have the breakfast brought up to you or you could go downstairs. Most mo first morning I had the breakfast brought to me. Oh my god. And I had the breakfast on outside on the patio with that breeze coming in from the ocean. Port de Hiver. It, it it don't even it's y'all worth every penny. Every penny. They worth it. They are worth it. So I had the breakfast out on the patio the first morning. Um, I think the second second one, well, two morning I, I had it out on the patio, um, and then one morning, the well, one morning that I was leaving, I had it downstairs, actually in the dining room area, and it was nice as well. They bring you the newspaper, a real newspaper, like not to read the newspaper on your phone. But to read a real newspaper, like that was everything for me. Like everything for me. The New York Times reading it. Y'all, it was amazing. I went to dinner by myself. And it, I thought it would be weird. Again, not weird at all. Not weird at all. <laughs> Sitting there, watching people, having dinner, have dinner by yourself. It was not weird at all. It was amazing to just sit and enjoy your own company. It was 
awesome. And I'm telling you, like, everyone in there was very nice. Um, they had, like, these, they have two pools. Um, one pool is close to the other side of the property. And then they have, like, this jacuzzi area where they have a pool, have a jacuzzi area where you can go in and sit down. Then they have this fire pit area. And then at night, they have, um, that's what I was going to tell you about, the, the turn down service. So, after we came down, after I came back from the beach, like every night they would have like this turn down service where they would have your your um like your blankets like pull back and they would have like the cookies, the warm cookies on the bed. And I did not know what the turn down service was, right? I was nervous. I came out like, who done been in here? Who done? It was crazy. But then I was like, let me Google what exactly turned down service is. So when I Googled it, I was like, oh, oh, this is nice. I like this. <laughs> it was crazy. But even so at night, I would go down and sit in the jacuzzi. It was just an, an amazing time. If you have never, listen, go to Port de Hiver. Port, P-O-R-T, D apostrophe, H-I-V-E-R go go you deserve it you you deserve a weekend there and just relax relax and enjoy yourself you need some me time that's that's the epitome of self-care the epitome of just sitting and enjoying your own own company if you know how to do that if you don't need a whole bunch of people around you if you don't need to talk on the phone every day if you don't need to be connected to the outside world take you a weekend and just enjoy you and enjoy your own time and enjoy your own company. Read a book. Get off of social media. Don't look at your phone. Don't look at a bunch of TikToks. And just enjoy peace and quiet. If you like the beach, do like I did. Sit at the beach all day and read a book. It was an amazing time. The food was amazing. The service was amazing. It was worth it every single penny and I will go back if I could go back every month I would literally every month so that's my review on Treasure Island Beach Resort don't go there it ain't worth that penny but Port D Hiver worth every single penny every single penny and I'm telling you so I want to do an unboxing uh, I've been seeing all over TikTok again these uh Mix bar. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the packaging there. Eh, maybe. I've been seeing all over TikTok these um, scents from Target. Target. What they say? Target got something in the vents. That's, that's making you. <laughs> that's targeting me. Target is definitely targeting me in this season. And I I am a um, fragrance junkie as well. And I have different fragrances. I I know people probably picking like, oh, these are cheap fragrance. Mind your business. I have other fragrances too that cost a whole lot of money, but I like to buy a lot of fragrances. So mind your business. This this may not be on the luxe level, but it is on the good level. So I like um, clean scents. Anything that is clean and has a, a clean scent. Um, I'm not too uh, into fruity or woodsy um, scents. Um, so I picked this up from Target, this mixed bar, f um, fragrance called Cloud Musk. Now, because it's not a high ticket price, um, and it's not on the, um, Lux fragrance, um, levels, it ain't gonna last that long. Period. <laughs> it, um, I wore it Friday night Sorry, this and y'all hear Alexa talking so um it's not gonna last that long I wore it Friday night um for my daughter's birthday in Miami and y'all know it was hot sweaty and I think it didn't last through through the night so this is cloud musk this is a, this little bottle is cute I think it's cute but it did not last through the night so again it was only $20 so it's not going to last you hours and hours it's going to last when you put it on multiple times so this is something that you probably could put in your car um and put you know at your desk at work just to you know 
do a little extra hey okay maybe I went for a walk at work a 15 minute walk or something like that I need to freshen up a little bit this is something you could use this is not all day this ain't gonna last eight hours it probably lasts two hours at the most but it smells really good it smells really good so this one is cloud musk and I would buy these they have the little sample ones that I saw and I would probably sample the rest of them to see how they smell again this was $19.99 they smell really good again it ain't gonna last you eight hours it ain't gonna last you six hours I wore it on Friday night and I think by the time I got home um it it was gone so just know that it's not a luxe fragrance it's not um it's not so it's not gonna last that long but it smells really good though so try it out try it out so these are my reviews for this week um you guys keep it luxe and keep traveling come back again and see me next week so i can give you more reviews on hotels tips tricks and what's happening in the world of love is to travel i thank you for watching and come back next week bye